Hello and welcome back. So this is going to be a very simple, straightforward budget that I'm going to do. As an example, I'm going to use a $65,000 gross annual salary, but I'm going to put this person, it's going to be a single person living by themselves in California, and I'll use all of California uh, taxes and, uh, and, and everything. Along with this, I want to really show kind of just with a real simple spreadsheet. As you can see, I have nothing on the spreadsheet right now. A very simple way to allocate funds for the envelope system, for the sinking funds, and how to disperse everything so that you can end up reaching your goals at the same time as also maintaining your monthly uh, budget and expenses. So we are going to start off with an income. So this income is going to be $65,000. Now, when it comes to taxes for this particular individual, and they're going to be filing a single with one a claim, they're going to claim one, there's, so you have federal withholding, and that's going to be, and I've looked this up on a calculator, about 323 Two, you're going to have uh, Social Security, and that'll be 155. There's Medicare, that will be 3625. You have regular California, um, uh, just the state normal state tax, which is be 1223. And then you have what's called SDI, that's the state disability insurance. The bi-weekly uh, gross pay is, take this number, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, it's just basically, it's this amount every two weeks. So we're going to do 2,500. Therefore, the net pay, which is what we're actually after, will be equal to this minus this, 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 this. There we go. And therefore, monthly pay, or monthly net pay, rather, will be that roughly times two. So this is what we will have to work with per month on this budget. Now, the absolute first thing we have to do, just absolutely must do this, no questions asked, um, and I see this missing on so many budgets, and that is the first expense or the first thing that gets paid is yourself. You must pay yourself. Now, for this particular budget, I'm going to make this somebody who is on baby step four of the Dave Ramsey plan. The reason for this is I want them debt free and I want them to already have a fully funded emergency fund because if I'm going to start evaluating all the different debts and all the different emergency funds and the amounts that need to be in there, I might as well do a regular budget review, which I do do and I have done. But for this, we're just going to, let's just make him on baby step four and he's going to be needing 15% of his gross pay going into some form of a retirement or some form of account to build wealth for him for the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a pay yourself first account. And that's going to be equal to the annual gross times 15%. So that's how much that needs to go. And if we go pay yourself first monthly, this is annual. So monthly, means this divided by 12. So that's going to come out of the paycheck first and foremost before anything else. Now, let's move on to what I call, these are the four walls for the E1 category, expense category number one. These are the essentials. All right, so this would include Housing, this includes food, this includes uh, utilities to run the house, and it includes any kind of transportation. 
And something else I want to, I'll go ahead and bring this up here, now that I'm mentioning it. We're going to put this particular gentleman in a house. It's going to be, so the house, it will be a $200,000 home at a 3.25% interest on a 30-year fixed. When you run this thing through a mortgage calculator, the actual mortgage will end up being for a monthly payment of $870 per month. Food. I'm including eating out in this as well. Will be 150. Right. And just in case, and if I forgot to mention this, all of these expenses that I'm using right now, and all of these categories are what I'm currently using in our monthly budget that we set up. So this is where I'm getting all these different categories and funds, and a little bit of the dollar figures as well, adjusted of course for 65k annual income. We have transportation. That will be, let's say, $50 every two weeks. That's what I do. Uh, so that'll be 100 a month. Water. I'll go 50. I'll do gas and elect electric. And that will be about 102. That's an average. And I'm using a California average on that one. It's a bit higher than mine right now, but the sewer is 15. And let's do garbage at 20. I'm going to grab all these. It'll be red down here. Total. And let's add everybody up. And something else that's important to note is, let's do this, and that is I make sure to get a house that doesn't have um, any kind of fancy HOA fees, all right, homeowners association, I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. And let's just go ahead and say that this $200,000 home already has at least 20% down on it, so we're avoiding PMI as well. I just don't want to factor that in right now because that's going to take a lot of other things into consideration. Moving on to the next set. These are regular old bills. Oops. Or what I call E2 category. Expense category number two. This would be the phone. That'll be 73. Cable. This would be for internet. Call this 50. I'll use a blow entertainment. This is for, you see a book that you like you want to get on Amazon, you go ahead and pick that up. You see some clothes you like, you go ahead and pick some of that up. This is guilt-free money. Spend it however you want or save it for something big. It is totally up to you or this particular individual. 30. Household. Any kind of cleaning supplies, detergents, uh, soaps. Maybe you want to get a nice little desk lamp or something like that. This is the fund that would take care of this. Put 30 in there. Okay, now I'm, on, I'm going to assume that the income, the $65,000 is raw, and that's going to allow for me to budget for these next two items, and that will be health insurance, which will be about 400 and disability insurance which is about one to three percent of your gross so that would be about 108 that'll be it for now and so the reason why I'm not including the these specific or the reason I'm not including health and disability insurance is there's a lot of folks that are out there that actually don't have this included or taken out of their paycheck so we're going to go worst case scenario and say this company is not providing this person 
their health insurance or any kind of benefits like that. They're just giving them a raw, and they're also not giving them a 401k. So this this this, this might be motivation to think about changing jobs. Okay, just giving that a little bit of a heads up there. Blue, and I'll make this bold. All right. All the entertainment and the cable, this is going to be 80 bucks a month. This will take care of any kind of like, you know, going out, any kind of, you know, if you want to watch stuff on the internet or something like that. YouTube is great. Nobody, um, I don't personally have any Netflix or any of that kind of stuff. So we'll just stick with this for now. Finally, sinking funds, E3. Sinking funds, these are what I use, and I'm going to go ahead and translate them over into this budget. So, AAA. Nine. AAA, in case you may not know, is roadside assistance. So if you get uh, you get a flat tire on the side of the road, they'll come out and tow you. Or if you accidentally lock yourself in the car, they'll come out and uh, unlock you. Or if you need a jump start with your battery, they'll fix that. They'll, they'll help you with that. So nine bucks a month is totally worth that. Peace of mind. Homeowner's insurance. It's about sixty-seven for a price for that home. For a price for that, sixty-seven a month for that. Holiday spending. This would be your Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. Always fund from this account. This would be about twenty bucks. I think that's what I started out with when I originally started back several years ago. Car registration. This registration. Gotta get the car registered. That would be about twenty-two a month. That'll f and again, these values are based off of the annual bills. So this homeowner's insurance, this homeowner is about eight hundred dollars a year. All right. Um, the car registration that he's driving roughly mm, two thousand. 11, 2012, Toyota, Honda, something. Okay, just some basic kind of thing. That's going to be about maybe 250, 260, something like that per year. I know this because this is what I have. Car fund. This will take care of your maintenance, scheduled maintenance. So that would be oil changes, uh, tire rotations, alignments that have to be done usually once a year. It also accounts for unscheduled maintenance. So that would be things, you're on the road and you get a flat tire. Call AAA, get towed to a mechanic, and then you use the uh, any kind of repairs that you would need for that uh, through the car fund. All right, so the car fund, let's go 40. Auto insurance. That would be 50. Now let's do uh, Amazon Prime. I think that's about twelve dollars a month, or it works out to about twelve dollars a month. They just recently raised their uh, prices, um, so and I think my bill came to around one forty-four after taxes and stuff. That's why that's what that is. Costco five. I do the sixty dollar, the annual sixty dollar membership. I don't do the fancy one. All right. The now because we have a house, we have house taxes, or specifically a better way to write it. Property taxes. And let's say they're not included in the mortgage. So that would be, uh, when I looked it up, this was about uh, 1625, 1626 per year for a $200,000 home. So, or valued at $200,000, so that's about $135 per month to save. We're going to go what I call CapEx. These are capital expenditures. These are the big, big expenditures. So things like repairing, you know, uh, over redoing your roof, getting a new roof. The hot water heater goes out. The refrigerator goes out. Uh, you got to redo the septic system. Some major, major expenses. So we're going to go ahead and put 130 in there. And then the little brother of this, which would normally be just regular repairs and maintenance. And repairs and maintenance, we'll do about 80. This is kind of touchy-feely, depends on the, the value of the home, the, the current state of the home, that kind of stuff. All right, we're also going to go ahead and do some giving, because we are generous like that, and we'll put in 20 for that. 
Bring this over to total. Add everybody up. All of these become our sinking funds. And all of these will be going into savings accounts. So all of these sinking funds, for me, have their own savings account in Capital One 360. I'll put a link to the video where I go over the skeletal structure of this entire system that I'm talking about. Uh, and you'll see, that, and everything's color coded the same way. Uh, I do sinking funds in green, I do normal bills in blue, and all four walls, major expenses that have to be pilled up or paid are in red. Okay, these and a lot of like the, uh, the water, the mortgage, or, and for me it'd be the rent, all of those go into a separate checking account called bill pay. That's and all the bills are automatically uh, deducted from there, right? Meaning I have auto pay, so it takes care of all that by itself. The household, for, and this is for me personally, the household and the what else is it that I have? The household and the transportation are also savings accounts. But that's just for a personal preference. Cash flow equals I minus E. Income minus expenses. So let's break it down this way. We have income and we have expenses. The total income that we have is this right there. The expenses is paid ourselves first plus. E1 plus E2 plus E3. E4 does exist, but those are all expenses based off of debt. So because we are on baby step four, we don't have any debt. And we're debt free. I don't have to worry about it. So we have 3,400 right here. And that means our cash flow equals, now let's do it right here, it's equals that minus that. Here we go. So we have $276.50 remaining after we have taken care of everything. So on a $65,000 annual salary and where we bring home $36.77 per month, with living in a $200,000, around $200,000 mortgage at a 3.25% on a 30-year fixed, we've taken care of, we've pay, or first of all, we've paid ourselves 15% of our gross salary, so that's going into retirement. We pay ourselves first. We've taken care of all of our four walls, all of our regular bills, and all of our sinking funds. We have a fully funded emergency fund and we take it this what we originally now do is take this extra 276 and I would apply this to this mortgage down here extra so instead of 870 uh, dollars per month which is the normal monthly uh, nor or the normal monthly payments I would add the additional 276 on top of that for a total of about 1100 1146.50 based on the budget that I just made I'm going to show you how I set up the basic sinking funds as well as the digital cash envelope system on the Capital One 360 accounts that I have. Now, I have done a video on this already. I'll link it up uh, f above for you where I go through the overall skeletal structure of the sinking funds, of the checking accounts, and the bill pay accounts, and all of that. So take a look at that because that goes over everything I'm going to show you right now. The sinking funds, all the E3 categories, will all be in their own separate savings accounts. Obviously, I can't show you these accounts online right now, but each of those funds will have their own separate savings accounts that I just dump money in every single month. For the checking accounts or the digital checking accounts that I have, I have two envelopes, if you will. So one of these envelopes is right here, and you could put bill pay on it, and what this is, is I would put all the food money and all the blow and entertainment money into this envelope 
or this checking account. And as I need money through this, I'll just transfer money from this checking account into the main, and that will account for everything that is spent on any kind of groceries or any kind of entertainment, or if there's any kind of personal items that we might need, it all comes from this account. The other checking account that I have is bill pay, and that's this guy right here. And this account, what I'll do is I'll take all the money, whenever I get paid, I'll take money from the main checking and deposit it into this digital envelope. But in here, I have the bills for the mortgage, the water, gas and electric, sewer, garbage, phone, cable, health insurance, and disability insurance. I would put all that money in this checking account, and because this is linked directly to uh, the actual vendors, they'll be able to come in, take their payments whenever they're ready, and I don't have to worry about it, because I do this one month ahead. These two digital envelopes uh, link up in Capital One 360 in combination with the main checking account, and then all of the sinking funds are all correlated to their own corresponding savings account based on the budget that I just laid out before. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And I will talk with you guys next time. Have a good one.